Hello, Rich Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, we completed the requirements for World 2 because we're so good at this game. And in this episode, we are going to do the first level of World 2 just for kicks, I guess. And also because we're 100%ing this game, so we have to. And the first level we're going to do is Dry Canyon. So let's hop to it. Hop, skip, and a jump. This is the treasure we found in the last video. This is our total treasure. Alright. This is going to be like the stone hill of this world. Um, as far as I remember, I remember it being kind of wide open. Um, let's get to it. We have this uh, spinning chest. Those usually have like big ones. I'm sick of these cacti. Um, in this world, we have a whopping 400 treasure to collect. This is going to become the usual, about 400 or... Um, some smaller worlds will have 300, but 400 is going to be the norm to collect in uh, levels from this point on. Um, and then there's four dragons, and there is an egg. I remember we get the egg pretty early on, so no more cacti. These cacti. Oh, this guy's got a gun. Jeez. A gun and a shield? It's absurd. Alright. So this is Dry Canyon. These guys are also small, so we can just run into them. Um, as you can tell, the uh, the theme of the second world is going to be kind of like desert-ish stuff. Oh, we hear the thief. All right, thief. I'm getting your. I'm gonna get your egg. I'm getting 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 your egg. How many times do I need to say that before it gets annoying? Let's do a survey. If you think the answer is one, then keep watching. If I just need to say it one time, then... Oh, well, we got him. That wasn't too bad. Alright. So, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty alright. Today is Monday. Uh, I may have mistakenly said it was Sunday in the last video, now that I think about it. Hi, Conan. Thank you for releasing me. You're not welcome. Whoa. Did I just charge a bullet with my head? Did I just headbutt a, a bullet? Don't, don't try this at home, kids. Or adults, or teens, or young adults, or just anyone. You can try this though. Actually, uh, maybe not. This whole using a bird as a as a club. He was he was not happy. All right. Oh, do we go up or come on, get on here? Do we go up first or do we go this way? Let's go this way first. I'm not doing like a practice file or anything. Um, because I just want, I want it to be kind of natural uh, as I'm doing this. Hi, Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? Heck yes. I was born to glide. <laughs> <laughs> confidence, Spyro. That's how, that's how you win awards, by confidence. He's saying you have to be a good glider because we have to uh, get over there. But I don't feel like it yet. These, these cacti. Bird. As you can see, uh, at this point, since you know we need 400 treasure, they're going to be handing out some big ones. Like this right here. This is the last color that we actually need to see. This is a purple gem. It's worth 25. Those are... We're going to need a lot of those. All right, and here's the end, actually. Here's the uh, return home thingamajig. We did a really good job of getting all those um, gems. There you are. Okay, come on, camera. You might think that you can uh, make that glide, but you cannot, actually. From over here? No. No, we can't make that. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to try this, though. Spin this. Oh, that was just a five. And then for me, sometimes those, uh, 
even when I was playing this on the uh, the disc on the PlayStation, which I totally am doing right now. Like the sound for those pan ones would just like repeat. But headbutted another bullet. That's that is definitely how firearms work. Or maybe Spyro Skull is just made of some ridiculously strong metal. Like a Let's move on. I believe I was I missed it. I was in the middle of asking you guys how you guys were doing. Um, I'm doing good. I'm actually doing really good because uh, this last weekend we did we had a lot of fun things. Uh, I had some friends over yesterday. Uh, we actually talked about the idea of maybe doing like some co-op let's plays. They're not let's players, but they will be. If I have anything to say about it, whiz with these cacti. Just get out of my way, birds. The fire has, like, a surprisingly good range. Whoa, well, and I got shot. I was trying to be all cool there, but that was, was not as good. Um, See, so yeah, I had friends over, and that was fun. Um, in fact, this is one of our friends, Ivor. Hi, Ivor. Is that you, Sparrow? Nah. Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke. We've known, uh... You've known? About my destiny. Ah, I forget. <laughs> he was pretty funny, actually. Um... And how could he have heard if he was turned to stone? Maybe there's a little bit about this magic that I just don't quite understand. And I haven't seen any, like, butterfly things yet, which concerns me. Because, or maybe, like, you saw them, but I didn't. In addition to friends coming over, um, I got a really just, I got some mail from a friend from college and it was really amazing. Um, and I'll, I'll, t I'll tell them like personally that they're amazing, but um, I'm going to also express it here because this is a thing that I do and I can just do whatever I want on the internet because that's how the internet works. These are fireworks. They explode, so don't stand next to them. That's a real life like lesson, kids. Don't stand next to fireworks. They will explode. Oh, no, not going to make that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, Let's actually do this first, because this extra life box is just taunting me. I really have some great friends. Like you, I'm I'm so like just happy to have met all these people over the last. Oh no, this isn't where you jump from. Um, over the last you know few years, especially in the college years, um, just the friends that I've made have been fantastic and been excellent. Um, the best, the best, and that's from an objective standpoint. Oh, please make it. No! We, do we have the key yet? No, oh, we don't have the key yet, so we're going to have to come back here. Oh, good job. Oh. Sadness. But that's okay, because I have good friends. So, um... Shoot, what was his name? think um Gunnar yeah Gunnar was telling us that Dry Canyon rewards good gliders pause you're wrong it's not Gunnar he's not even in this level it was Boris Boris was telling us that we have to be a good glider these names are important dude unpause so Let's uh, let's do some gliding. Let's itch our head, my head. Unless you know, if your head's itchy, you can itch your head too. But I'm I'm primarily concerned about my own um, head as far as itching goes. Although I don't know, maybe people itch other people's heads. 
I, I don't know. Whoa! I think that's the last enemy. Watch me be wrong. Looking secret? Alright. These gems are telling us. We gotta make like a, a blind jump. Remember that area that I said you could make that jump from like the ending thingamajig? Well, this is where you gotta make it from. You just gotta do a huge left. And we made it. Because we're just, we're great. Hi, Maximus. Maximus, Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. Thank I you. thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. <laughs> those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, there's the key. I like salt a lot, like salty foods. Um, oh, here's the butterfly things. They're the exploding rabbits. Um, like if if I had to describe my favorite flavor, um, it would be salty, definitely, like hands down. Followed closely by um, like like berries. Um, I like cherry a lot. Strawberry is a good flavor. Uh, most like berry flavors, um, but salty foods. Uh, I put a lot of salt on everything. Um, more than once, actually, I've been told by uh, my amazing friends, um, like when I'm salting my fries or something, they'll say something like, you're going to die. In, in, in a completely like you know, concern for my health sort of way. But um, I, I just like salt. That's the thing about me. Let's open up this uh, safe chest. Chest safe. Oh, okay. We just barely made that. I was I was concerned. Oh, did I miss anything? I didn't miss anything? I mean, this video is still going to be longer than all the others, just by virtue of this level being longer than all the others. But we didn't miss any gems, so the video is not going to be any longer than it needs to be. If I can make this jump. All right, good work. Good work, Sam. You did really good. Thanks, past Sam. From like five seconds ago. All right, let's double check. Egg, 404. Great. All right, return home, thingamajig. Returning home. Returning home. All right. So, that went really well. In the next episode, we're going to do the next level of the Peacekeeper's World, which is called Cliff Town. Oh, no, hey! Get, get lost. This is something I should explain. Is, um... When you, uh, destroy an enemy in a world you've already been to, normally they give you, uh... These little orbs. Nope. Hold on. Like, you can see... I'm pointing at my screen right now but it's right above the spiral head you can see a little like dot um if you get enough dots uh orbs um then you get an extra life uh, i have no idea what that number is but that is a thing that i have explained in the next episode we are going to go to cliff town so i have been brett fiesta and i hope your day is going exactly the way that you want